Hello, aviation enthusiasts and welcome back to our channel. Today, we've got a gripping story from the skies that has left the entire aviation industry in shock. If you haven't heard already, on January 5, 2024, a 60-pound door plug blew out from a nearly new Boeing 737 MAX 9, leaving a gaping hole in the fuselage at 16,000 feet. Now, before we dive deeper into this incident, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for all the latest updates from the world of aviation. Let's get started. So, what happened on Alaska Airlines Flight 1282, and why are we asking the wrong questions about this incident? Stick around, because today we're uncovering some surprising facts about the aviation industry, safety regulations, and the Boeing 737 MAX. The Federal Aviation Administration, in response to this incident, grounded all 737 MAX 9 planes with similar plugs. But here's the catch, it's not just about the incident itself. It's about the decisions made behind the scenes, decisions that involve a delicate balance between safety and cost. Safety, as we all know, is paramount in aviation. But, believe it or not, every functioning emergency exit comes at a price for an airline. Emergency exits require routine maintenance, frequent inspections, and staffing during takeoff and landing. And that, my friends, comes with associated costs in salaries, health benefits, pension plans, training, and more. Now, the crucial question arises, why would an airline seal off an emergency exit? The answer, quite simply, is money. It's about cutting costs to stay competitive in a highly demanding industry. But is this compromise on safety really in the best interest of passengers? To understand this better, let's delve into the regulatory landscape. In the US, airlines must comply with federal aviation regulations, which dictate maintenance procedures and in-flight personnel assignments. However, Boeing sells the same aircraft to different airlines with different seating configurations and needs. In the case of the Alaska Airlines MAX 9, it had just 178 seats, below the threshold that requires a specific number of emergency exits. And here's the catch, federal rules allow air carriers to disable exits and plug the openings under these conditions. But the bigger question is, should safety be compromised for cost-cutting measures? Shouldn't the FAA require that all exits are available for use in an emergency, regardless of aircraft seating capacity? It's a debate that deserves attention, especially when we consider the safety record of the Boeing 737 MAX. The 737 MAX, a plane of many firsts, not all positive. Two crashes, a two-year grounding, and now this recent incident. It's a plane that has dominated the market, with airlines like United, American, Southwest, and Alaska flying it. But with safety concerns lingering, is it time for the industry to reassess the unintended costs and consequences? As we wrap up today's video, remember to share your thoughts in the comments below. Do you believe safety should come at any cost, or are there better alternatives? If you enjoyed this content, give us a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more fascinating insights into the world of aviation.